The new Secretary of Defense, General Lloyd Austin, taking some strong action to tackle extremism in the ranks of the military. NBC's chief White House correspondent, Kristen Welker, has details on that for us. Kristen, good morning. Hi, Craig. Good morning to you. This is a really remarkable development. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin announcing a military-wide stand-down order over the next 60 days to allow each branch of the military time to discuss white supremacy and the threat of extremism throughout their ranks. Now, this is a direct response to the attack on January 6th against the Capitol when rioters, including some current and former members of the military, stormed the Capitol. The Pentagon press secretary called that deadly incident a wake-up call. Craig. Kristen, the stand down order, how exactly will this work? What, what will it look like? Well, Craig, look, this is essentially a pause that gives service members a break in their regular activity. So each command and unit can have at least a day to have discussions about this serious problem. Now, just for context here, the military has previously announced other stand downs to address other issues plaguing the military, including sexual assault and racism. During his confirmation hearing, Austin, who is the first black defense secretary, pledged to fight against racism and extremism inside the military's ranks. Take a listen. The job of the Department of Defense is to keep America safe from our enemies. But we can't do that if some of those enemies lie within our own ranks. Now, the Pentagon has studied the issue of extremism over the years, but so far hasn't released a data outlining the scale of the problem. Craig. All right. Now, Chief White House Correspondent Kristen Welker for us there. Kristen, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.